Welcome to Khazar Varn, one of the fortresses on Cadia. This is a Shadow War special, and a Grey Knight kill team has come to flush out all renegade elements. They will face off against the Dark Eldar as they defend the Obsidian Gate from... Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today, Game 3 of the Shadow War for Khazir Varn, which is the um, one of the um, fortress cities in the 13th Black Crusade. Um, we're fighting over the Obsidian Gate. And I'm here with Adam from Blackfire Productions. How's it going, guys? And it is Game 3. Make sure you check Game 2 down below. And in the last game... Little spoiler alert, I was able to breach my way into the city. So now it is time to fight inside the confines of the fortress as the witches fight off the Grey Knight strike force once again. So let's take a look at the kill teams and let's get prepared for another Shadow War. <laughs> and the Dark Elder kill team, the Cult of the Bloodied Blade in their third bad report. So we have Tahil Nin, the Siren. Uh, she has Infiltrate and a Power Sword. And then I have two Blood Brides, last mission. I have, um, you can see the, the game on Adam's channel. And uh, I bought another Blood Bride and I gave her a pistol. And then I have another Blood Bride with a Shard Net, and she is Dodge, she has Dodge, which is really good against shooting. Then I have three um, regular Witches, and they have, uh, two of them have uh, Chain Blades and Venom, and one of them has a little uh, stabby thing. And then I've got my Frenzied, uh, she got hit in the head, so she's Frenzied. <laughs> and then she hates the Justicar, and then that's just a debutante that is um, trying to survive their third game to become a trooper and then get some cool gear. And that's that. I'm nine models in. Now, for this game, I am going to do something special. The something special I'm talking about, I am hiring a homunculus. So it is a campaign. I'm going to spend one Promethean point, and I'm hiring a specialist. The Dark Eldar can pick either a succubus, a scourge, or a homunculus. I'm going to pick one guy. He has a cool will, uh, rule. It's an old school homunculus too. And I get to roll two dice on my combat drugs this next game, and I get to apply both results. So I'm hoping for plus one toughness, plus one toughness. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see what the Hermogulus brings to the fight as well. And he can only be used in this game. Let's go take a look at Adam's Grey Knight. Okay, Strike Team Regalis. Yeah. There you go. Let's go, Adam. What do we have here, sir? So we have Justicar Nasir here. Uh, he is... Again, still equipped with his force or er, Nemesis Force Halberd, Stormbolter with side bolts, frag grenades. Uh, he has the step aside skill. Four plus invul in combat. Yeah, very and cool. And psychic powers are Hammer Hand and Purge Soul. Yep. We have over here, uh, we have Brother Taldez, the lone survivor from the last mission. Oh, yeah. As a little FYI for people uh, <laughs> following on Blackfire Productions. Uh, he's equipped with side cannon, power armor has crack shot as a skill, so I get to re-roll my entry rules. Against me, so you're yep. more likely to take me out of action That's or right. down me, yeah. And then uh, he has hammer hand and astral aim for psychic powers. And then this is here, brother Love uh, Lockhart. Uh, he has power armor, nemesis force sword, uh, then frag grenades and the storm bolter, and he has hammer hand as well. Awesome, and you do have one model that has to mix the next, the next game. This guy here. So That's that right. is Brother Eltios, and all he has is power armor and, and the side, side cannon. cannon, and then his uh, combat blade. Yeah, that's it. Okay. He his swords that kind yeah, of. he did. He, we, we, you can rearrange the the war gear, which is really awesome. Yep. So, three Grey Knights facing off a tide of Dark Eldar. Let's see what happens. We don't know the mission, but we do know that it's going to get bloody. 
Welcome again to Khazar Varn. We are on mission three of the Shadow War campaign at Chorus Games in Orangeville, Ontario, Canada. Make sure you come down and check out the store and they have this cool table here. <laughs> so we're playing Hit and Run and uh, the Grey Knights won the roll off to pick a mission so they picked Hit and Run and they're going to be the attackers which means that he's going to have a specific mission that he's going to randomly know and secretly He's gonna mm. actually secretly write it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm not gonna know what his mission is. I gotta roll and it for it first. my he's gonna have his whole kill team deployed, and my kill team is only gonna have um, a D6 model set up at the beginning. Yeah. And then reinforcements come in, which is gonna hamstring me because he'll be able to pinpoint a small section of my army, considering I outnumber him three to one. That's good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> okay, so let's get down to deployment. Okay, so we're gonna roll off to see who goes first. And because of the homunculus, I get two combat drug rolls and I get to choose both. So I got plus one strength and plus one toughness from yeah. all my witches this game, which is... Pretty good. Very good. Oh, the homunculus has drugs too, because he actually pants, is part of the kill team. Yeah. Okay, so roll off for the first turn. Two. Oh, it's a draw. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, first and three. that is the Grey Knights going first. Grey Knights, turn one. They have moved up and opened fire with sustained fire, downing the homunculus. He's now wounded and crawling around on the ground and pinning the witch, leaving the two debutantes with no guns <laughs> to try and do some damage here. So let's see what happens as we move on to the first Dark Eldar turn. The Dark Eldar. Um, the Dark Eldar ran with the two debutantes. They're behind cover here. Um, and I moved up with my one witch and she shot a pistol and pinned the um, the Grey Knight, but he passed his uh, armor safe, so he, she didn't do any damage. Meanwhile, he crawled two inches into that space, and I have to roll to see what happens. On a one, he becomes pinned. On a two to five, he stays the same, and on a six, he's bled out and he goes out of action. Awesome. On a three, he just continues to be down and crawl around two inches. <laughs> so he, he's hiding behind this pillar trying to stay alive. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next turn. Okay, Grey Knight's turn two. <laughs> we had them move up and just blast me. Oh man, it's not even funny. Uh, two models out of action, the witch and the debutante, and one girl that is broken but down, so she's dragging herself away slowly, <laughs> trying to stay alive, while I have another downed homunculus as well. Oh my goodness, let's see if my... Um, if my uh, um, reinforcements can come in and do anything. <laughs> No, number of people coming in. Okay, so up to three of my fighters will be able to arrive, and I get to pick a random board edge. So one, two, three, four, and then five, six, I pick. Five, six, I pick. Dark Eldar turn two. Three of my models moved on, and I've hid them all. <laughs> <laughs> They're just hiding right now. And then we have the uh, Justicars over there. So we'll see what happens as they get closer. Oh, and uh, the guys that are down are still down. They're crawling, crawling around. Grey Knight, third turn. <laughs> they moved up and uh, tried to shoot at the girl that's crawling away. <laughs> he ran though, so he can't shoot. But this Justicar failed his ammo check. He has run out of ammunition, oh, that Grey Knight there. So now I roll another dice to see how many of my guys come on. And it's a two, so one fighter can come on. Okay, so I'm playing really cagey. The three in here have continued to move and just hide. Uh, Hemogulus is dragging himself slowly away, and so is the broken uh, warrior. She needs to drag out that way. Um, okay, so I'm gonna roll for the Hemogulus. What happens to him? Five, he's still down. And the girl that was broken? Six. Three. Still down. Okay. And I didn't, uh, I chose not to bring any of my reinforcements on, because I don't have to if I don't want to. I'm um, really trying to get him closer. I, I need to, his shooting is just murdering me, <laughs> so I have to get him close. We'll see what happens, because I don't know what his mission is, but there's either two things. It's either kill my leader or get off this board edge. Um, so I'm hoping it's get off this board edge. Okay. We'll see you after that. 
Okay, so uh, turn four, uh, Justicar charged the d crawling homunculus and beat him out of his misery. Uh, and then this guy charged into the one girl and beat her out of her misery. So they're out of action. I still have some hidden guys here, but he's kind of trying to stay out of my charge ranges. So let's see what my um, kill team has decided to bring in. One, one model, eh? Okay, well, up to one model. We'll be back after. Okay, Dark Eldar turn four. I moved in one Blood Bride, and they're still all hiding, and I've stayed out of 12, so even if he runs, he can't spot me. So, it's gonna come down like a turn five, like, crazy, bloodthirsty battle. So we'll see what happens here. As he has one Grey Knight that has no ammo, the Cybolt guy, which is literally the, like, nastiest thing in his list, and then the Grey Knight guy. So, let's see what happens after this. Grey Knight's turn five. So, they've moved and ran. They're trying to either get off the board or um, waiting for my leader to show up. And I'm all hidden, so he can't really shoot me. He decided not to go on Overwatch and just kind of move in support of the Justicar. So, how many models come on from my, uh, from my team? One more model. <laughs> and we're gonna roll again. One, two, three, four, and then five, six I pick. I get to pick again. Okay, which way will they? Okay, so my turn. I had my Blood Bride come in this way, and another charge in here with a Witch, and they both got eliminated in furious close combat. Both Grey Knights just knocked both my Witches and my Blood Bride out of commission, out of the game. <laughs> I did down a Grey Knight, so he is down. He's crawling around, bleeding out with some pistol fire. But I have three uh, models left and my leader that still has to come on. She's coming on next turn. I ch I'm choosing not to bottle because I don't know what his objective is, but we shall see. Because if I bottle it, he gets an extra Prometheum. And in the campaign, I'm also I'm up on Prometheum. So there's no point in just giving it up. So we'll see what happens after turn six for the Grey Knights. Tactically, he's almost there. Okay, so it was shock tactics, which was the, he had to get um, from 12 inches from that board edge and get them off this board edge. And so he successfully just grabbed both of his models, ran off. But the game isn't over till everybody's dead. Or, uh, off, the or off the board. So because he's down my in my turn, down. yeah, so he's gonna roll to see if he gets back up. And he doesn't, he stays down, which means I will charge him in my turn and take him out of action, That's which right. will end the game. But it is victory for the Grey Knights. The Grey Knights, because <laughs> they have achieved their mission. That's right. Objective, which is to get off the board. They have achieved a breakthrough enemy lines. I kind of thought it was uh, kill the leader. That's why I didn't bring my leader in. Yeah. But, um, you know, it, hey, the Grey Knights have won this one. But I didn't bottle, so I don't give up my No, Prometheum, you don't. You don't. Um, which is important, because I needed that after <laughs> um, buying a specialist that just died within the first <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> okay, we're going to the end of game stuff. Make sure you uh, check the other games in this mission um, or in this little campaign series on Blackfire Productions and uh, the other mission one here on Scardcast as well. Right. Okay, so I have five out of action um, characters. So my Blood Bride on a four plus, she's okay. She is okay. Hooray. Actually, that's um, actually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we have the Witch with a chain um, blade. She is okay as well, rolling a five. Then we have out of, no, that's anyone who's down. No, they're out of action. They need to, they need to roll. So it was a five and a five, whatever fives are. Five and a five? Yeah. I think that's full recovery. I believe that's full recovery. Yeah. So she's gonna recover fine for the next game. She's gonna recover fine for the next game. They can't get any experience or anything because they were out of action. So the one that hates you, rolling the two, D is it just a D6? Just D6. Yeah, D6. Uh, the one that hates you. <laughs> She's dead. dead. That's it. Off the roster. <laughs> and the one that had uh, Frenzy 2. Whatever that does. It's right there. It's right there yeah. oh. Head two. wounds. Head wounds. Frenzy. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Double Frenzy. Did you roll a 6? No, roll five? I rolled a 5. Full recovers. Yes. So my Blood Bride, uh, even though she went down, she rolled a six, which means whatever doesn't kill you, doesn't kill you makes you 
dot dot dot, yeah. right? So it makes you stronger, which means that she gets to roll on the advanced table, yeah. correct? Or is it just yep. a skill? Uh, it's, it's the advanced table. Okay, so I roll 2d6 on yeah. the advanced table for my blood bride. Ooh, so getting beat up in combat. Isn't necessarily a bad thing. Okay, roll there you go, that's good. And I rolled a four. That is fierce. Choose one, plus one strength or attack. Oh. I'm gonna get plus one strength. I'm yeah. gonna go for strength four. Yeah. So she's gonna gain an extra strength. That's good. Awesome, I love it. Okay, and then uh, they're double frenzy, so she's just frenzied again and has to miss, miss the next game. But there has been one casualty dead. The true death, or maybe getting regrown in the Hemonculus Labs. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens with the. Uh, oh, and then Prometheum. Yeah, you gain. I just gain a Prometheum. Yeah. Cool. And um, I get a hundred points. I'm probably going to spend some gear to get my Blood Bride some extra gear. Um, so I'll go over that in a second, and then I get a skill. I'm going to pick my leader again. Okay. And I'm gonna go for agility. Agility. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And I roll a six and a five. Catch grenade and sprints. What does sprint do? Triple their movement rate when they run in charge. I'm going to sprint. <laughs> She's gonna yes. sprint. Okay. Sprint. So she can triple Dangerous. her move on a run or charge. Dangerous. <laughs> it's 18 inches. For anybody who's not. And you infiltrate. And you infiltrate too. She's nasty. Right. Okay. <laughs> on to the great. Okay, so at the end of the third game, we have my witch now has plasma grenades, my leader. She can triple her move when she runs her charges, and she can do two runs or charge moves before the game even starts. With infiltrate. <laughs> which is crazy. She's like she's like the super dodgiest person ever. Uh, Blood Bride got some Hydra Gauntlets and Plasma Grenades. Uh, this Blood Bride is now stronger, which is cool. I have two witches now that... Um, have their chain hooks and venom blades, they're fine. And then I have two with um, just blades. They have Soul Seeker ammo now. And one of them, this one here, just got promoted from a debutante to a witch. And I have one debutante that's double frenzied, that it has a pistol now, and uh, has to miss next match again. <laughs> so we're moving on to the next uh, phase. Let's see what the Grey Knights have in Okay. Serious injury table. Okay, so he's out of action. So serious injury for the Grey Knights. A five, five. he recovery. makes a recovery. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, he's coming back. Uh, I need a clean Promethium, so a D3, D3 Promethium yeah. for winning the objective. Two. Two plus Promethium. Four. So you have two plus two is four. Two. I have five, so four. Five to the Dark Elder and the campaign. Four to the Grey Knights. Uh, then mm. I have my advance. I'm gonna okay. give it to my other side cannon. It's gonna be the one that was on the board. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. It has to be one that oh, that's on the board, right? He was out of action, so he can't. It's either the Justicar or your other guy. Well. Okay, so another combat roll on the Justicar. So either a one. Which is combat master. Okay, or a four. Which is a block. Okay. Force my opponent to re-roll one of their attack dice. Very cool. So are you going to block or are you going to combat master? I will do block. Okay. You force block. your opponent to re-roll one of their dice. Kind of like parry. Sort of. But better. Yeah. It's more like a block. Yeah, that's right. It's not a parry. Okay. So Okay, re-equipping and re-arming. So, we have Cybolt Ammunition on this uh, Grey Knight. We have Telescopic Sights on both the side cannons to increase their range if they stay stationary. And this guy now has a Clip Harness so that he can clamp onto high ground and not fall down. And then we have a red dot laser on him. Uh, we, we can assume they have them inside the visor or, or the red dot laser, which is literally uh, on the top here of the Stormbolt. Okay, so the two kill teams. We have four Prometheum, five Prometheum. On to game four. So the two forces are busy. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, make sure you stay tuned to the other missions on Blackfire Productions. Uh, check the link down below to go to the other YouTube channel. Uh, give him a sub uh, to continue watching different games in the campaign. So game number four will be fought next on his channel. Make sure you go check it out.
This is Scary, a radio host, signing off until next time. Uh, if you like the content, please become a patron. It really helps the channel. And sub, share, and like. Cheerio. Thank you.